Hold on. What the if reincarnations of anime characters, anime and manga from Mr. Anime World. Let's get it. First up, <laughs> Master. Reincarnated as a sword. That's right. If you haven't seen this anime, this dude literally gets reincarnated as a sword and a cute cat girl then is your master. But no, there is no degenerate fan service. There isn't. If anything, it's like a wholesome father-daughter relationship. The season two, I think, is going to happen this upcoming year. I'm not sure, but uh, we might check it out. Rimuru. That's right. One of the most greatest tense uh, isekais to exist right now. And the guy is a slime. What the? <laughs> okay. Okay, now. You see how much defense I play for reincarnated as a sword? I cannot do the same for reincarnated as a magical wand. There is no shot that this wand is doing anything else but vibrate. Next. No name. Uh, reincarnated as a xenomorph. I became an evolving space monster. That's... That's kind of interesting. Are you just like a villain that just goes on to like kill civilization, just destroy everything and just continues to evolve? That's an interesting concept. Next, Dorotama. Elusia. Reincarnated as a dragon. Oh, that's not too random. Rota Okami, Woof Woof Story. This is just actually called Woof Woof Story. Reincarnated as a Fenrir, which is like a mythical wolf-like beast. Shijo Saikyo no Daikenja. Ralph Bordo. This looks like that, that teddy bear thing from Danganronpa. Reincarnated as a stuffed animal. Okay, but who's your master, right? Okay, you're a stuffed animal, but like, is your owner like a six-year-old girl? Are you gonna do some weird lollicon shit? Next. Spirit migration. Cool. Reincarnated as a spirit. Honestly, it's not that weird. Okay. <laughs> Daisuke Furutsu. Ringo Tensei. Reincarnated as an apple. What happens if they eat you? How much can you really do? As an apple, single use. Maybe you regenerate. Maybe this apple is an infinite apple where cute girls will keep biting into you and eat you, but you keep regenerating. There's no way, right? Or maybe people like are trying to protect this apple from ever being eaten. It's like a sacred apple. That's an interesting concept. <laughs> Next. Mike. Those who hunt elves. What? It shows about hunting elves? Reincarnated into a tank type 74 specifically. So when someone gets in your tank, how does that work? Let's say you're a dude and you got reincarnated as a tank and another dude gets in your tank. That's kind of gay, right? Next. Re <laughs> I've heard a lot about this one. Reincarnated as a hot spring. That's right. Atami Kusatsu. The main character literally turns into a hot spring. And a bunch of... But well, think about this too, right? You have cute elf girls in the cover picture, right? That's nice. But just like what I said before with the tank example. What if you get baited? And you're a hot spring and hoping that, you know, cute girls are going to show up. But it's just a bunch of old hags like grandmas and like old dudes. Next. We have Walker Parasite. It's that reincarnated as a virus. As a virus? I know the anime sells out work because of those viral clips of the white blood cells, which I think are just like the cute lollies. But interesting, you're a virus? Hmm. Wait, Orc? Oroku. Shijo Saikyo Orc Sun. Sounds like something the strongest orc son. Reincar is a half orc. Only half? This, none of these dudes look like orcs, actually. They probably. This guy is probably like a half orc, but just like looks like a regular human. Re Monster was basically just goblin. But at the very end, what was the theme, guys? What was the theme of Re Monster at the very end? Racism. Being light skinned is better than being green skinned. And just like the manga cover, this half-orc has abandoned his orc color, bro. That's right, white supremacy, man. Next up, 
Genji Kwon from Tensei Kyuketsuki-san. Reincarnated as a vampire. That's not... That's pretty normal. That's pretty average. I don't, I don't consider that weird. Next. Wall. <laughs> Yuri Wall. Reincarnated into a wall. There's a lecherous guy and a wall. So the whole concept of this show is you are a wall and you are eavesdropping and peeking into Yuri girls. That's kind of creepy, but the concept is hilarious. It depends on how well they handle it. But the concept is fucking hilarious. You're just a creeper. And you're just like stalking these cute girls get into lesbian relationships. And you like it. <laughs> Again, creepy concept, but sounds hilarious. Next. Succubus ni Tensei. Reach Horerain. Reincarnated as a succubus. Mm, this succubus is looking a little bit too young for me. Next up. Kiyosuke. Reborn to the phoenix. Reincarnated as a phoenix. Eh. It's not too, it's not too weird. Reincarnated into like familiar as animals isn't too weird. Now the familiar is a sword that's weird. Asagaya Makoto Musokuro. Reincarnated as AI for a space battleship. Okay, okay. Now this is getting interesting. Not just the space battleship, but you are the AI for a space battleship. Huh. Well, that's not really AI then. That's them thinking that you are some sort of highly sophisticated intelligence. Artificial intelligence, but it's just a human that got reincarnated and now is role playing as AI. Reincarnated as a weed? Yoga. Nah, I don't think it's the weed that we're thinking about. It's just a sprout. This sounds interesting. Akin to how reincarnated as a slime, you're gonna think that a slime is just weak and nothing. Maybe this is gonna be one of those crazy power stories, right? Power fantasies. Who would, you know, ever suspect a weed? Next, willow tree. Evolution begins with a big tree. Reincarnate as a willow tree. You're just a tree? What do you do? Nothing? I mean, it says evolution begins with a big tree. I don't know what everything... Are you going to evolve? Are other things evolving because of you? Sounds like you're just kind of just stuck as a tree. Wonder what they can really do. Maybe the tree can move around. Who knows? Next, Kumakichi. Shirokuma Tensei, reincarnated as a bear. Shirokuma, Shirokuma Tensei, what does that mean? Shiro is white, Kuma is bear, Tensei is reincarnated. So, reincarnation, reincar reincarnated as a white bear. Alright. Does he do some carpentry work? Because he's got like hammers and he's building shit. Oh, Overlord! Ainzawuru Goon, Overlord, was transferred and became undead. Isn't this guy like a video game character? He's like a video game character, right? One of these days, guys. One of these days. <laughs> Unnamed Dragon Ball fan. That time I got reincarnated. As a, what? This is a real thing? Wait, this is a spin-off Dragon Ball? Are they capping or is this a real thing? Because they're saying that this series exists. Well, I gotta search, check this out. That time I got reincarnated as Yamcha. Yo, that's a thing. Yo, that's... That's a fucking thing. Viz has it. Bro! It's legit! That's a thing? Okay, I kind of want to read it. But it's just Yamcha getting fucked up, right? This is like the cell arc, I think? Where the little cells are exploding? <laughs> Interesting. Next, reincarnate... I see you reincarnated to a werewolf, but the girl that's holding the werewolf's face like that, I, I don't know. I think there's a lot of... If there is a tag in this series, not. Furry, nodding. I think that would be a tag. Next. Oh, hey! The show that we're going to watch one day. Tanya, the Guru Chef. Yojo Senki. Saga of Tanya the Evil. Reincarnates a little girl. So like, old man got to reincarnate as a little girl? 
continues to commit war crimes? Hitler reincarnated into a little girl? Commits war crimes? I'm not really sure. Next up. Fantastic slice of life fun, bro. Reincarnated as a vending machine. Don't hate on the show until you've seen the first episode, bro. It was very fun. Next up. Reincarnated as a cat. Tama. S rank monster. Is the cat an S rank? I'm, I'm not really sure. Also, you see the cat here? You see how the cat has an M on the head? You'll notice that a lot of cats on their forehead, if they have the M pattern, they're all part of that one same uh, breed. I think it's the tabby breed. Maybe I'm wrong, but next time you see a cat, take a close look at their forehead. You will see an M-like pattern. It, it might be a little subtle, but you will see that M in most cats that are those like tabby breeds. <laughs> e Yu Shin. Whenever you see the letter L in Korean name, it's never an L sound. It should be E Yu Shin. Not Lee Yushin, but reincarnated as a fish. Surviving as a fish. This sounds hilarious. Wait, this sounds hilarious. No, 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 genuinely. This webtoon probably is hilarious, bro. If he gets reincarnated as a fish, then he has to survive in the deep underwater with a different bunch of different predators and shit. Maybe he gets stronger by eating different fish. I don't know, but the, the, the concept is interesting enough for me to check out a couple of chapters. Next. Hey, there it is! Reincarnate as a goblin. That's right, Remonster Ogro. And he just continues to evolve and become just like a godlike being. Love this isekai, bro. Reincarnate as a spider is one of my favorite isekai stories. And it has, still to this day, my favorite setup in an isekai where the people that gets transported or reincarnated or summoned, it's a schoolroom setting, meaning. There's existing, pre-existing hierarchies and social interactions between the main character and everyone else. You already know who the bullies, the cool kids, the losers, blah, blah, blah is. Which makes for a very interesting dynamic when people actually do get powers and realize that they can act differently. And then, the mystery of not knowing who each student is. Adi Freta, you do know who each student is. In Kumodeska, that's not the case and I love the mind games with it. Fantastic show, ruined with the CGI and the battles, but... If you watch this show, you're not really watching for the battles, but damn, if the battles were, if the battles had the polish, like this isekai genuinely would be so, so peak of an anime. I loved it though. I loved it. Season one CGI wasn't even that bad. It's just season two at the end with the war. Holy shit, it's bad. It's comically bad. Next, the Crow's Prince reincarnated as a crow. Is it a girl character? Because I doubt guys would watch this or read this shit. Because, like, look at it. The main character's already got a couple of buttons down. Look how slutty he is, showing off his collarbone. I feel like this is a webtoon for girls. Right? I feel like it's like a reincarnated. Or maybe it's Yaoi. Maybe it is a boy. And it's like a sub crow. I could see that. I, I fail to see how this is marketed towards dudes. But I could definitely see it being marketed towards girls based off of this cover pick. Next. Peach! <laughs> Sasaki and Peeps is an anime that aired recently, right? Peach! Reincarnated as a bird. Okay. Wait. Reincarnated as a dummy head microphone. Orekun. Asa Asa dummy head mic. It has the Moyai emote face. It's also blushing. There's a hand with some sort of ear pick going into it. I think we're cleaning the mic right now. And the, there is mic fan service happening. Some cute girl is cleaning this mic and the mic is blushing. <laughs> Our creativity knows no bounds when it comes to fan service. And that's pretty much it, man. Please go give Mr. Anime World a like. Go share the video. Go like it. Go sub to his channel if you haven't. And I will see you next time.